But uh, do you have any uh, do you have any axe throwing tips, real quick? <laughs> I used to do a little hatchet throwing when I was in Boy Scouts. I did it a couple times. Yeah. Well, hold hold up just a second then. No uh. reason, no reason. Oh man. Oh snap! You're prepared, dude. Oh yeah, this is uh one of the old axes we used to throw with. Uh, we since the place I work at changed out. Uh, these have wooden handles here, mm -hmm. and the problem is when you throw an axe, it spins, and a lot of the guests would make it hit like this way. Yeah, and eventually the wood handle breaks apart. That snaps, yeah. Uh, the ones we oh, that's super dusty and gross. <laughs> It's just in the corner. Doesn't get a lot of use right now. Yeah, obviously. Um, but uh, the um, the ones we throw with are metal metal hatchets, uh, and they stand up a lot longer to a lot more abuse. Huh. Um, but basically, a lot of so yeah, advice for axe throwing one on one here. Um, a lot of people kind of don't think about how the axe moves through the air. Mm -hmm. um, because like if you throw a dart, you're kind of just throwing it straight ahead of you. Yeah. But when you throw an axe, it's got to spin. Mm -hmm. It's got to do that motion. Uh, and so a lot of people don't think about kind of how their body has to move to make that happen. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people will throw and kind of do like a basketball shoot or something like that. Yeah. It's like what you want to do is like whip it and swing it full body kind of motion. Uh, so you're acting to do one nice neat rotation, hit with the pointy part of the axe. It's kind of like... It's kind of like you're chopping a log. It's a log chop motion. That's interesting. Just, uh, next to the cycle as it travels. Okay. Uh, to your target. Um, and it's kind of about get, just getting your form. Mm. Uh, a lot of people, especially big, tough, muscle guys, uh, they think it's all about power. Mm -hmm. And that's not even a little true. Uh, there is a complex equation of, like, you know, rotation and power and speed and, and distance and da-da-da-da-da. Uh, but I've seen people throw with all the power of Thor, but because they've got terrible rotation, their axe hits, you know, like, like that. this, yeah, and bounces right off. While their girlfriend comes up and she throws, and she, you know, it's like this big muscle guy and his <laughs> petite girlfriend of her like long mm -hmm. nails, and she'll throw, and it'll just kind of like float in and it hits, huh. sticks. Uh, one of my favorite stories, um, and, and again, I'm I'm generalizing. You know, usually the the guys come in and are all macho and throwing too hard, and usually the ladies are a lot better at listening, maybe not as physically inclined as their boyfriends mm -hmm. or husbands, coworkers. But there's always strangers that that mess up. You know what you expect. Uh, one of the best throws I ever saw was a, a, a mom with a bunch of kids. There's a whole bunch of families <laughs> together, and this uh -huh. one mom just would not stop throwing bullseyes. Damn. And she wasn't like a fit bit mom. She was just like a stay at home kind of mom, but she was. That's awesome. She had the arm. Some, uh, uh, but no, so one of my favorite stories, though, was uh, one of the first weekends, one of the first few weekends when I was there, uh, I had a bunch of, like, Jersey Shore extras come in. Just, like, oh, yeah? Just, like, Italian guys and their little Italian girlfriends. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and again, all of these guys, like, I'm 5'7", five, 5'8", five, on a good day, and all these guys are, like, 6'4", 6'5", like, like these yeah. big, tall guys, big, huge muscles. And all the girlfriends were, were shorter than me, maybe four foot eleven or something, like long hair, big hoop earrings, long mm -hmm. nails. They were dressed for the club. Uh, you know, but they were so go to support their boyfriends were very excited about this. Mm -hmm. And uh, for whatever ever reason, um, they decided to do guys against girls. And I was okay. like, I, I don't I don't think that's a good idea, but they're like, No, no, it'll be fine, it'll be great, it'll be great. So I they do it. The guys are some sort of, you know, Morning Wood, that's their name, or some, something dumb like that. Okay, some yeah. dumb innuendo hmm. pun. Uh, I mean, I make dumb, dumb innuendo puns all the time at that job. <laughs> Moral of the story is they, when they stood up to throw, mm -hmm. uh, they all wanted to stand really far back. But then they would throw so hard that their axe would spin too much. Mm. And it would hit with the back of the axe like that and bounce off. And they turn to me and go, why didn't it hit? Why didn't it stick, bro? And I'm like... Because you're too far back, you gotta step closer. And he'd be like, "No, yeah. no, I, I don't want to cheat." And I'm like, "That's, that's not, not that's not how it works. That's not how that works. It's yeah. about the rotation." Uh, so then, like, their girlfriend steps up to throw, and she's throwing, and she's like, "Eh," but it hits. Her aim's not exactly there, but it hits and it sticks. Yeah. Because she's got the rotation down, and she listens to me. Uh, so the first game was 
first of 55 points. And we usually get through three or four games in a night. Uh, but because of how many people they were playing with and how nobody, none of the guys listened to anything I said advice-wise, uh, the guys didn't score any points until the very last few rounds of the game. And the first game took the entire hour and a half. Oh my God. Uh, final score was ladies 54, guys 56. Because in the last three rounds, two, like, two of the guys figured out how to throw bullseyes finally. <laughs> wow. Game, Come back. It's just getting a little uh-huh. more point. That's kind of hilarious. Oh, yeah. Uh, I miss it. It's, it was fun throwing axes. Uh, and it was it was cool, too, because like a lot of people would come in there and they, they you know, no one's done that before. Mm-hmm. It's weird. They don't think they're going to have. So I, I, we'd even have like corporate events where there'd be people who. Oh, you know, God. Like a that sounds like a bad idea. They're like, my boat was to go bowling, but, you know, I guess yeah. we're here. I got to throw some axes. And then they get out there and like, oh, this is fun. I'm liking this. Like, you Any know, boss like, vengeance stories? <laughs> Any boss vengeance stories? You know, a worker turns on the boss. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was interesting. There'd be some yeah. times where, like, there'd be an event and, uh, you know, you could tell who was the head honcho guy that everybody mm. was trying to kind of impress or, or made sure you know he was happy um there was one i mean again we were we also get like a lot of like people from like manhattan into this brooklyn mm. establishment of ours uh and there'd be people off of wall street or whatever you know corporate suits and, and yeah. tie polished shoes uh i had one super buff guy go to throw an axe and just rip his shirt oh just, like, out of it, literally um there was uh there was a group of guys like lawyers and they were all, again, like cocky and arrogant, but like at least these guys were like good at throwing, decent. But they were decent at throwing, but terrible at listening, yeah. as most guys are. Uh, and they started making bets on each other, and like, like it was weird because some of the loudest guys were the worst throwers, but they would bet the most money against <laughs> some other asshole. Maybe. Wow, that's uh, interesting. And then like, luckily, one of my it was a big group, so they had like multiple ranges going. And my coworker got the boss of the night and everybody kept challenging him but the boss guy was like smart and he a listened to his expert his ex instructor uh uh, but also he was like (laughs) i don't want to win this money i make plenty Mm -hmm. and if i win the you know the hundred bucks they're throwing around now like they're gonna ask me to pay for drinks later so any tip money i any money i win i will give you guys as a tip so we ended up getting like six hundred dollars in tips from that group because like Damn. he kept challenging the boss man he kept winning uh <laughs> not bad so, so i gonna say like besides the uh the the remembering how an axe throws i would mm. also recommend anybody who goes to go throw axes or, or any other new skill really is listen to the person who's paid to teach you yeah because they probably know what they're talking you think about. that'd be common sense but uh you would think that uh but there's a lot of common sense that seems to escape people when it comes to axes. That's uh, very concerning. <laughs> I I made that dramatic for a reason. Uh, I'm going to share yeah. three stories mm-hmm. about people who didn't use common sense. I can- God. All right. I, I just said the name of my place. I don't know if I actually want to name where I'll I'm bleep afraid. it. Don't worry. I'll bleep it. Yeah, Redacted. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> Again, that's for that. Um, so first, uh, lack of common sense. Uh, I heard about this through someone else. So it's not my story, it's someone else's story. But there was a first date, and it was just a guy and a girl, and they came in and they met there, and they didn't know each other before all this, mm-hmm. you know, matched on Tinder or whatever, and they're trying to throw axes as a first date. And the guy, for whatever reason, is being really aggressive mm-hmm. and like trash talking her. And he's like throwing and like getting points and like. He's like, yeah, bring it. You got, you know, suck it. I don't know. I, I don't know what he's saying, but he's trash talking her. Yeah. And she's struggling. She's not doing very well because she's never done this before. Um, maybe it's not her thing. I don't, I don't know these people. But anyways, apparently, they're just like the date's not going well, and like they take a break for a moment, and they're standing there with their drinks. It's awkward silence, and then the guy's like, "So, um, what's a turn off of yours?" And she looks at him and goes. Over competitive, <laughs> puts the drink down and leaves. 
Uh, that sounds like a scripted joke. It's. It, you think so? I uh, mean, I believe you, but it's fun for uh for sharing the story. Yeah. Uh, I've heard about a couple breaking up on the range. These two girls, hmm. two women were, were apparently having a fight, and just mid throwing axes, the one was like, "We should break up." <laughs> and it was just like, this is where you choose to do this, right? He has a weapon. Or she has a well, weapon, like, you know, like... Yeah, she's got a weapon. We're in the middle of an event. You got strangers <laughs> involved now. You chose now yeah. to do this. Great. Okay, cool. Uh, the last uh, no common sense thing is a lot of people ask us, you know, oh, have people been injured here? Has anybody died? Yeah. Uh, and when people have been injured from axe-related injuries, most of the time it's their, that person's own damn fault. Yeah. And, like, the... The worst injury I ever heard about was somebody who picked up the axe and goes, oh, how sharp are these? Oh, come on. Come on. Ran it across his fingers, had to get stitches, did not throw axes that day. Use a piece of paper. <laughs> like, use your hand. <laughs> yeah. Well, and not, don't, like, don't oh, run it across God. your hand. Like, I've had people, like, Man. thumb it or whatever. Yeah. Which, like, I don't think you know, like, like people do this, mm -hmm. and I'm like, do you do you know what you're doing? Because like I know you, I know that seems cool, but do you know if it's sharp by that? I don't yeah, think like you do. no. <laughs> wow, that that I'm actually pretty shocked about. This one just straight up just like. I mean, you know, people are are weird, and like there definitely have been like close calls. Like you know, uh, one of my coworkers. Uh, had a guy throw the axe and it bounced it hit in a way that it bounced right back at him and luckily it was like coming like like this oh. so he just kind of like caught Step. it yeah oh he caught it and then he threw it again wow <laughs> but like but he was just like dude your, your life flashing before my eyes and the guy was like yeah I know <laughs> damn is there alcohol involved in this I'm hoping there isn't there is <laughs> we, we serve alcohol uh -huh. uh, it is largely like we only serve can oh, okay uh so you know you got hard you know you got ciders and, and beer and hard seltzer and canned wine so you'd have to work very hard to get to drunk get at there. our place on our stock yeah some people take it as a challenge i don't recommend it um no. there is a bar literally next door to our place and some people do go there to pregame and then sl slosh over to us uh, but we cut them off. We try if we if we see you're going to be a nuisance or a problem. We yeah. We we stop people sometimes before they even get on the range. Uh, there definitely are some times where we you know there's you know we try to let the guests throw. We kind of try to let them you know if they claim they're okay, give them a shot. But sometimes it, yeah, no, you, you got to make that call. Them. Yeah. Huh. That's interesting yeah. though. That's cool. It's like a like yeah. a hidden a hidden detail I never knew about you. <laughs> well, here's here's a hidden detail they don't tell you on the website on the flyer. Um, so we had a uh, a police officer brought in one day to talk to us about what to do during an active shooter drill. Mm. Uh, and the, and the guy was like, okay, if I'm honest, uh, if someone really wants to like shoot up a bunch of random people you're probably not going to be a target. You know, they're going to yeah. go to a church. They're going to go to a, you know, a convention center. They're going to go to a mall or something. Mm -hmm. uh, so anybody that comes to your establishment is more likely to going to be a disgruntled uh, guest or a disgruntled employee. Yeah. Uh, and when there's an active shooter drill, you have three responses, uh, run, hide, fight. Yeah. And it's like, well, there's one entrance to this place, and there's oh, no great. exit, so you really can't run if he comes in the front. And then it's kind of an open floor space. There's a back area you can get to, but it's all kind of open, so you really can't hide from this. So three, lastly, you all have access. <laughs> so maybe, I think, your best option is to fight back. And we were all like, well, you got two axes and two chances to be the hero today. <laughs> Great. Isn't that, isn't that Ip Man, the axe, uh, the axe uh, fighting scene where he's fighting against all the guys like trying to hack him with an axe? 
Oh, maybe. There's a few good movies, kung fu movies of uh Yeah, with axe fights. Yeah. Kung Fu Hustle. Oh, that's a great one, yeah. Hey, so you're watching our clip video. If you liked it, you should check out the full podcast. You can find it on YouTube, Spotify, Apple. Links in the description. We have a bunch of SCP guests that we want to get onto the podcast. So subscribe, stick around, and uh, hopefully we'll see you around. Thanks, guys.